Let's get this ball rolling. Oh shit. That's a really good draw. Oh. Right into a cutscene. I always feel bad. As somebody who grew up with everybody mispronouncing his last name, I will never not feel bad. Did I get that? I did get that. Let's see. Uh, I guess we just go to the desert. This game isn't too want for, uh, for side quests. So there isn't a lot of random side content to do. Pretty much just the seashells are your side content. Though with the stick, I can go help a man knock a bee's nest down. Which I need to do for progress. There it is. I never really pointed it out in the first two videos, but I love the wording on these things of just... The stick became the honeycomb! How did that happen? Alright. Oh, you know what else we have to do? We have to... It's not a side quest, but a little bit of side content. We need to head back to the main village and get the ocarina. Also, we can do this cave now. Yes, the hunter becomes the hunted. say that this is just for some money, but we do need to rack up 900. Almost a thousand at some point. And you can't just push that. Which means... Wait. Hell yeah. Using our brain organs. into one of these yet. They're, uh, fast travel. Though, I could use a couple more fast travel locations around the map. There's not too many. I... Um, if you're having trouble seeing the player, uh... Give it a good refresh. Uh, Twitch has been acting a little odd recently. In fact, uh, I couldn't get my preview window to show up until I did a couple of refreshes. That is, if you're hearing my audio. I need to get the ocarina first. We sh might also be able to do color dungeon, which is a good thing to do. It's 
since color done can give you a very nice boon. Also, it's gimmick wise, it's pretty cool. So this is the main reason you can't do this until you get the uh, the Pegasus boots. Though I want to say somebody in the chat last week did mention that it is actually possible to do this without the Pegasus boots. Though, uh, all you get is those rupees, because you need to get through that stone. Alright, so the ocarina works. It's kind of the proto Ocarina of Time stuff, because uh, over the course of the game, for instance right here, Oh god, Link, please. So yeah, you do those little, uh... Those little duets with people. And... You don't actually have to play the song every now and then. You do those little duets with people, and you learn songs. Right now, we, uh, we only have one song. But there are there are three to get in the game, and I do believe you. Two of them I know are required. I. Hmm. What does the other one do? I think one of them is an all-purpose warp. So maybe that one isn't required. But anywho. Uh... Color Dungeon normally requires you to look up a thing. being stupid and not doing that. Alright. That one's Whoa. a little bit fast. A little bit too fast. So there's a combination of certain gravestones that you need to push. And I believe there's a book in the library that lets us see that. There we go. Yeah, okay, so you need the Pegasus boots because it's that one on top. Down, left, up, right. See, that, that, hmm. That was the one thing that I always remembered is that there is like a, you just move from one gravestone to the next. Whoops. Maybe a bit too much on the fast motion. <laughs> and yet I go right back into it. with these ghosts so I don't die. I 
That's where Epic Ghost comes out of this. Alright, we're good. So yeah. Also, a really good remix of the Zelda 1 dungeon music. So yeah, that is literally like a, um, a check, because obviously you can play this game on the, um, the non-color Game Boy, and, uh, if you don't have the, the color, you can't do the color dungeon, so that is just a little check of, like, hey, do, do you have color? You have to tell me if you have color. And obviously every puzzle in the color dungeon is extremely based around color. <laughs> thing to actually try out to see if, uh, like, okay, so it's just, you know, one side is a color and the other side is the other color. If you just, can you get it with just guessing? I've never actually tried that. I've never tried popping DX back into a normal Game Boy. I am desperately trying to find hearts. And all they're giving me is more magic powder. I forget why magic powder is important in this dungeon. It's not a very long dungeon. That's one big thing. solve this riddle. Tell you what, I can. I'm smart. Certainly didn't do the same thing I did as a kid where I just sort of flailed around wildly until it worked. There is a weird sound effect happening. Probably a bit of emulation problems. That weird, just a little random that's happening every now and then. Alright, so I think you want the feather for this guy. Ah! 
Oh, that toot happens on original hardware. I, you know, it has been probably the better of, um, too many years since I've played this on original hardware. Sound channels overlapping. Yeah, that's that sounds extremely reasonable. Alright, well, up is a treasure chest. The map, you're only at the end of the goddamn dungeon. What is that room? I'll we'll look at that later. A cool interaction with the uh, the piece of power and these puzzles is you can just slam the guys into the holes. at that room. <laughs> Alright. Nailed it. Wait, I did it! bird. I hate these puzzles. I'm just gonna throw that out there real quick. I know that there is a system and a way to figure these out. I'm terrible. I'll get you eventually, he says. I slowly degrade into madness. I moved it. Yeah, this music isn't helping. <laughs> also, yes. Good point with uh, what Breath of the Wild coming out. Breath of the Wild looks pretty alright. I'll pick it up when I'm not stressed to play some other games. Oh my lord. What do you want from me? I still gotta play Yakuza. Alright, what if I just turn them all red? I mean, I'm just gonna play it on my Wii U. I don't need a Switch. trick to not have to buy a switch on release day. I am slowly going insane.
I hate you. <laughs> the Zelda version of just, you know, kicking over the table. I'm done with this. There's always just one out of place. Look, they're all red. Let me through. I, I have to have hit like at these in every single combination. There's gotta be a solver for these online, right? I did this as a kid! <laughs> How do I stop this? Is there a trick that I'm just not remembering? Do I use magic powder? Links, awakening, <laughs> color, dungeon, puzzle. Please, I'm dying. I'm actually dying. Alright, so the bad news is I have to get it set up in a certain way. It's apparently real easy, like, you can do it in, like, three moves. I, but, like...
I'm dying. How do I keep getting it to the... I, I, like, in my head, it's just like, no, 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 obviously, you, you, you keep doing the same thing over and over again, so you just need to do something different. Wait. I have one blue. Okay. How do I go from having one red to all red? But like I can't figure out how to go from one blue to Ah Alright, so, uh, finally! I was having a time. that I'm really tired now. I'm sorry? Wait, hold up. Oh, wait, I don't fucking need it. <laughs> I'm like, there's a puzzle to solve here. Wait, no, there isn't. So this boss is weird. It gives you that whole thing, all that really means is you just have to hit it really fast. I believe. Oh. It's something like that. This was a boss that I never really understood. The game doesn't really do a good job of like explaining his bullshit to you. Oh, you know what it is? I, I, I Pegasus boots. And I died. I agree with Trat. That boss is trash. That boss is a really bad way to end what is pretty much a, a, a pretty cool gimmicky dungeon. It's like, I really like the color dungeon and then the boss is really stupid. And yeah, I only lost because skeletons. Hey, I don't have to solve the puzzle again. <laughs> oh my god. Never again. So next time on my D&D session, that's what the puzzle's gonna be. Give me the fairy. Yeah, there you go. And just in case, I don't know why, you can flip the switch.
That's it. That's the boss. That's it. I wish I could say that boss is interesting. You can always come back here and change them. But yeah, this... Uh-oh. Hmm, that was odd. Uh, this more or less gives you a permanent uh, boost to your damage. And just always gives you the, uh, the knockback effect. You just always have a piece of power. I'm going back in real quick because there was the one room that I didn't go in. I just want to see what's up with that room. Uh... Is it right here? Yes. It's gotta be a bomb. Cash money! One step closer to our goal of not being a criminal. Adhering to capitalism. Alright, so we need to go east after that small detour. I'm gonna have to go back on the video later and just figure out how long I spent on that puzzle. Because it was definitely a good bit of time. So I'm gonna say there is a shell here? I, I already got it. Unless you have to dig after picking that up. It has been a good two weeks since the, the first session. Thanks, Record Keeper. Oh, wait. Can you bomb this? Yeah. Yeah. I do remember as a kid, I would usually take the blue tunic. Uh, not because I felt I needed defense or anything like that. I like the color blue. I think blue looks nicer than red. Says you, jerk! Two more, and then we gotta visit the place. Yes, yeah, so that's a whole. Whoa, I'm low on health. That's a whole big side path for nothing more than a, uh, a shell. I thought there would maybe be a heart piece down there. Alas. That's another shell. Alright. So you can get across this way earlier than you're supposed to by doing some real good shenanigans. So watch this shit. Okay. Takes a few attempts. Alright. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what's over here. I just remember you could do that. And I need flippers. <laughs> uh, whatever, I got health. I figured out some real dumb shit as a kid. Let's try it again. Alright, this time with feeling. Oh, this is another trade. This is a side quest. Way later. And I can get this chest, and we have made a loop, I believe. So I didn't need to go this way at all, apparently. It's bomb jumping. So, you know, w when you bomb jump, it's not, you know, jumping on a bomb. So I'm still working out the kinks. I have nine shells? Yeah, okay. That's a dead end. This is what I wanted right here. Now we over here. There's not really a lot of wasted uh, screen real estate in this game, so that is why I'm going down all these side paths. Generally you'll find at least like a, uh, a seashell or something. Alright, let's go to the town before I get destroyed. Is this when you have to do the stupid shit? I think there's a bear somewhere in here that I gave the honey to. That's another trading quest. Heart. Dream shine, you say? Where is Pineapple Man? Is Pineapple Man here? Pineapple Man. Hello. I don't fucking remember what you do with the pineapple.
so the uh, the whale they're talking about is right here. You can't can't do shit within there. I believe there's a heart piece here, but I can't remember what items you need in order to get it. This seems doable. Seems extremely doable. This is no longer doable. All right, you need hook shot. Alright, so we need to go back to the town, we need to get Marin. Pretty much we'll walk up to her and she'll be like, hey, you wanna go on a walk? You wanna go, uh, do a little bit? Do a little walking? Or you talk to this kid and, ah, she went to the ocean. Yes, alright. Is this house? Oh, that is the hint hint phone man. <laughs> and just an old lady who's jazzed about uh about sweeping. Gordos? I never really thought about it, but yeah, those those are kind of gordos, huh? There's nothing beyond the sea, but, like, of course, like, where did I come from? A good Link doesn't talk joke. I'm okay with this. Right here. Um, there's actually a picture you can get with Marin. It's the only time you can do it. I believe this is the only, like, actual missable picture. All the other ones you can get if you just go there later, or if they just happen. Uh, this one... You need to do a thing. So... Let's do a thing! Oh, he doesn't, they don't actually show you that one. I'll have to stop by later.
Alright, and here we are. And, uh... No, this is a good place to split a video next time. Uh, desert and the, uh, the next actual dungeon.